ఓం నమో భగవతే రామకృష్ణాయ టాక్స్ విత్ స్వామి వివేకానంద బై శ్రీ శరచంద్ర చక్రవర్తి వన్ ఆఫ్ ద గ్రేటెస్ట్ హౌస్ హోల్డర్ డిసైపుల్స్ ఆఫ్ స్వామి వివేకానంద కంటిన్యూయేషన్ ఆఫ్ సెక్షన్ ట్వెల్వ్ పేజ్ నంబర్ హండ్రెడ్ అండ్ నైన్ గురు గోవింద్ సింగ్ after a while the disciple sharachandra chakravarti said to swami ji swami ji it was very remarkable that guru gobind singh could unite both hindus and muslims within the fold of his religion and lead them both towards the same end in indian history no other example of this can be found swami ji replied men can never be united unless there is a bond of common interest you can never unite people merely by getting up meetings societies and lectures if their interests be not one and the same guru govind made it understood everywhere that the men of his age be the hindus or muslims were living under a regime of profound injustice and oppression. Guru Govind Singh did not create any common interest. He only pointed love to the masses. Swamiji says, Guru Govind Singh did not create any common interest. He only pointed it out to the masses. And so both Hindus and Muslims followed Guru Govind Singh. Guru Gobind Singh was a great worshipper of Shakti, Divine Mother. Yes, in Indian history, such an example is indeed very rare. Swamiji says, yes, in Indian history, such an example as Guru Gobind Singh is indeed very rare. Finding then that it was getting late into the night, Swamiji came down with others and into the parlor on the first floor where the following conversation on the subject of miracles took place to be continued om shanti 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 hari om tat sat shri ram krishna arpanamastu